God lives and works today. Can we testify to His reality in our daily work? Or is being overworked one of the main barriers between us and God, often separating us from Him and getting us down? If you're familiar with the difficulties of too much work to do, here is some helpful advice in today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called, God is my supervisor. We have often said or heard other people say, this work is over my head. When we don't know how to go on or how to master the job ahead of us, we might even exclaim, this work is killing me, it's driving me to exhaustion. And so we become irritated, reluctant to continue. In this way, we wear ourselves out, perhaps even making ourselves ill. And in spite of all of our efforts, we find no solution to the problem. To be sure, we often think the solution to the heavy workload lies in just working faster. But then we come into a mad rush, through which our problems only increase. And as a result, the work generally turns out worse, and it costs us twice as much time. In addition, now we really exhaust all of our energy. There have been times in my life, too, when the burdens of work almost crushed me to death when I scarcely saw how to go on, and I didn't know how I would ever finish with all of my work and responsibilities. But then the Lord showed me that success in finishing all the work hinged upon my remaining in total dependence upon Him right in the midst of my work. That meant I was only to do what He told me to do. I realized how often this or that seemed so important for me to do while I never considered that maybe the Lord didn't want me to do that job. And for this reason, I often didn't get everything done, simply because I worked in self-will, just to get something finished, or because I enjoyed doing it at the moment. When we do our work in disobedience, no blessing can be upon it. Then the time is too short, and we become overworked. However, when we do everything in obedience towards God, we will ask him to tell us which task is the most urgent, what he would have us do next. Then we will know how to apportion our time for the different responsibilities, and will be able to discern which ones are the most urgent and pressing. And then we will experience that we don't get into a panic, that our strength isn't overtaxed, and the work will still be finished on time. I can testify that the Lord actually did show me how to cope with having too much work to do. And then my burdens brought me a great gain, for they helped me to live daily as a trusting child who holds on to the hand of the Heavenly Father and only asks to do His will. This program by Basilea Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.